First up, I want to introduce Vipul Shah, who's the producer of the Kerala Story, joining me exclusively. Vipul, thanks a lot for your time. You've decided to challenge the West Bengal ban. There are precedents where courts have intervened, reversed such bans on films, etc. In fact, there's a, such a precedent in West Bengal too. So my first question is, are you confident that you will meet with some success? I'm not a law student and I'm not very great at understanding law. Mm -hmm. But I believe in one thing that uh, it is our democratic right to challenge. And uh, I believe that our country is a, is a terrific country and our judicial system may be sometimes a little slow, but they deliver knockout judgments time and again. Mm. So we have our hope and faith in the judiciary. And we're going to try our best to get the justice. Uh, very soon we shall find out. We shall find out soon indeed. But how did you? How did it make you feel when you first heard that West Bengal is officially banning this film? And of course, you must be aware of the reasons that they've cited. I couldn't understand the reasons, honestly. I thought that four days had gone by, three mm. and a half by, then, by that time. Mm. And not one uh, disturbance or any sort of violence or anything. So I did not understand how it was causing a law and order situation. Mm -hmm. Uh, as far as the content of the film is concerned, it's the first time I've heard a state saying that the facts shown are not according to the truth or whatever is their stand. And so they have decided to ban the film. Mm -hmm. This is an unprecedented order, according to me. It's never happened. However, I am surprised with one this decision, mainly because our film is against the terrorism. Right. Our film deals and exposes the entire terror module that is operational in Kerala. Mm -hmm. The film is about saving the daughters. So I couldn't, and I always thought that everybody will join us in this effort. They will support us mm -hmm. and they will, you know, encourage us with the film. I'm surprised that some people have taken a position of not worrying about the daughters, but about the terrorists. I mean, that position is a very, very surprising position for me. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the reason could be that they have not seen the film. They should see the film. And then probably we can have a more constructive argument. You know, I was going to come to exactly this question, Vipul. There is an elephant in the room. The elephant in the room is the fact that some people just don't want to talk about this issue that this film raises. Why do you think that is the case? Even though, as you say, this is about terrorism, brainwashing women, and then using them as sex slaves, as the ISIS has done. And it's a global issue, not just in Kerala and India. Why do you think it makes some people so uncomfortable? Uh, it's a com I have no answer because I'm baffled. Why would anybody not want to defend our daughters? I have no answer for that. And I'm completely stunned at the, at the reaction. Mm. But the audience is loving the film. Mm -hmm. They are connecting emotionally so strongly with the film. We have also got recognized by two states, the Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh have made it a tax-free. So there is a lot of support coming from world over, not just from India. Mm -hmm. That's also a very heartening thing. I just want everybody to sit and reflect that do we want to protect our daughters or no? A simple question. You're right that, you know, the public is supporting this movie. But I do want to ask you, when you were beginning to make this movie, you were researching about it, I'm sure you must have been aware that there will be some opposition that you will get. Did you anticipate this much or not as a secondary question? But I'm sure you must have been aware there would be some. Not really, because as I said that, I always thought that we will get tremendous support from everybody. Okay. Because this is exposing a terror module. Mm. So, and this is more about protecting our daughters. So who can oppose this is mm. what we thought. Right. And people who are perpetrators can oppose. That's fine. That's mm -hmm. fair. But we are surprised with the some of the opposition because it's just baffling. That why would you not want to save our daughters? I mean, that just doesn't make sense, really. Can I ask you, how does it make you feel as a producer, as a filmmaker, that your movie has been caught almost as a football in politics in India, between one set of politics and the other? 
Well, I thought, I think when you are saying some, you know, uncomfortable truth through your cinema, mm. uh, you can get some political backlash. That's fine. Mm -hmm. In India, anything and everything turns political in any case. So films cannot stay away from politics. Every political party has to have their own ideology and comment on every subject. That's fair. Mm -hmm. uh, I am more excited and overwhelmed with the response that audience is giving me. Okay. Uh, the amount of WhatsApps, amount of tweets, amount of Instagram posts, Facebook posts, it's crazy. It's even if we, you know, employ a team of 10 people, we'll not be able to go through everything. That's okay. the kind of response that we are getting. Mm -hmm. It's and you look at the numbers at the box office. Right. The trade has already declared it as one of the all time blockbuster films in four days time. Mm -hmm. So it's it's like across the uh, across everything. We are getting so much of positivity, love and response that we are also not able to pay enough attention to the negativity that comes with it. We choose to be positive. OK, that's a good thing. But I do want to ask you, a um, few people are raising the question that there was a little bit of misrepresentation or exaggeration when you first brought out the trailer to the film, which you later sought to correct. Don't you feel that, feel that that misrepresentation of the numbers concerned here has kind of tainted the message that you were trying to send? See, what happens is that we have addressed this issue in many, many news channel debates and many, many interviews, we have time and again put our side of the story. Mm -hmm. But they don't want to listen to it because that's the only point that they keep throwing at us. Mm. We have more than, uh, you know, more than once we've demonstrated how we've come to that number. Uh, but that was before the Kerala High Court intervention. Mm. After the court, court intervention, we are unable to now speak about it. But those interviews are available everywhere. They are on YouTube where anybody who has a doubt about it can go and see it. The other thing is, in last four days, mm. millions of people who have watched the film, mm. not one person is coming out and talking about 32,000 number. Everybody is talking about how powerful the film is. Mm. So whatever the attempt were to discredit us on that you know, numerological thing, that's failed. Okay. That's not you know, stuck to the audience. The audience is getting absolutely involved with the film and reacting to the film. And that's the most important thing. Okay. Okay. Okay, finally, let me also ask you, um, you know, movies like The Kashmir Files recently, Kerala Story Now, these are all based on real life events in our living memory, in our living lifetimes. And yet for some people, they don't want to accept that they these are real events that did take place, even if cinematically presented, they want to deny the fact that any of this exists or happened. Do you feel the public response that you're talking about is now encouraging filmmakers like you to finally make movies on these issues? Or is it still very difficult? See, you need to have uh, the courage that uh, we have shown. Uh, my director, Sudip Sen worked on this film for seven years. And he never left the research. He kept, ex he, he has done extensive research. Mm. Three years I have been involved in this and we worked so hard on this. Mm. The actors who have joined the film and we all have, so if any filmmaker is going to have this issue of, you know, shying away from the trouble, he's not going to be able to walk this path. Okay. We had decided that we are going to make a very honest, very truthful, very hard hitting film. Mm. We are not going to sugarcoat the issue. We are not going to sugarcoat anything in the film. Mm. And we will say it as it is. Mm. And that courage, if people will show, I am sure those films will find enough audiences in this country. Okay. Let me leave it at that, Vipul Shah. Uh, wish you all the best. Congratulations for the success of the movie in the box office. And we'll wait and see uh, what the courts decide now as one state has already banned the film. Thanks a lot for joining us on Plain Speak. Oh, <laughs>